Hi, my name is Andrea and in this video I will review the K3 Wiener machine from Felder Group that is Hammer, their most base model. Me and my brother bought this machine uh, in January and we paid about 4,700 euros for it. Uh, in addition to the base model, we also got the professional uh, rip fence uh, that is cast iron and we got the extension wing and also the miter cut uh, fence that has the indexing pin for the miters. It is a single phase uh, machine that plugs into 220 volts and it produces about 3 kilowatts of power. We ordered three machines from uh, Felder and these are the three hammer machines including Benso, the jointer that I will do a review later and we also got the Felder AF14 which is the vacuum cleaner. We ordered these machines on January 9th and uh, we got these machines due to the problems with coronavirus on uh, June 1st. Normally the machines come in 12 to 14 weeks time which is acceptable considering that all of the machines are made custom for you. We were very excited to get the machines and finally on June 1st the machine came and uh, on the truck when the truck opened uh, we were so excited we didn't see all of the things but we noticed that the uh, the vacuum cleaner was leaning on the jointer and that the um, benzo was leaning on the table so now the vacuum it's a light uh, machine it's about 60 kilograms probably less and it was not a big deal but the benzo is very heavy machine it's about 180 kilos and leaning on the sliding table of this saw but the guy who delivered the machine said that it is all okay he on purpose uh, put the machine on this one because the, the screws on the pallet where the bandsaw was standing uh, they tore off while they were putting the machines on the truck he said uh, although we think that it fell later but okay and that's uh, that's no problem that everything is okay so we believed of course we were excited for the machines not of the transport really and we brought the machines inside of the shop on the pallets. He, we signed the paper that it was all okay, which was a big mistake later on. We, I, I found out. And uh, we lowered the machines from the pallets and we got them on the floor and started to, to unwrap them from their cellophane. Upon inspection, we found out the damages on the, on the table, so because they were very, very notable, especially on the um, on the sliding table that were on the front edge it was completely damaged from the below and this was because the saw was probably lowered to something or it bumped against something during the transport we found the damages on the rip fence and we found the damages on the cross cut fence as well uh, also the machine was the base of the box was crushed on the side some of the uh, of the little screws were, were loosened and also the part of the angling the saw uh, the the whole knob was missing from the machine after assessing all of the damage that was done to all of the machine because it was not only the table saw that was damaged but every other machine was damaged in some kind of the way but this was the most the most serious one we found out that the lifting mechanism for the table saw was stuck in place like really stuck I tried to move it and it was so hard that that I didn't want to take a chance to risk to break something but we left the saw like it is we didn't even turn it on because I thought something was bad inside or maybe some protection and the technician was supposed to come in two days so we said okay it's the weekend we will leave it and wait for the technician to come now the reseller Totus has a setup service that uh, before the machines come to you they come uh, they come from Austria directly because they are made in Austria they come to them first to the reseller and the technicians there at the totos they assemble all of the parts that you don't have to later that's a service you pay for and they make sure that the saw is uh, operating correctly we really like that idea and uh, it was amazing service on on the paper of course because we thought we, we are going to get the machines and they will come in perfect wor wor working order and this is why the technician comes also in few days later when they are delivered to make sure that something hasn't shifted in the transport so the technician came on uh, June 3rd and he 
and he uh, uh, he saw that this was baked on and he said oh yes the grease was staying for a long time and probably that's why it was stuck on and if I loosen the balls there then it will be too loose in the future but, well it was a lot of talk and then he put some kind of grease inside some spray inside to lubricate it to loosen it up but still today after one month of use we uh, still uh, think that it's very very rough to, to lift up the blade <sighs> That's a lot of force. I don't know how the wheel could be stuck in the transport, how that damage could occur inside of the table. So A technician came from a previous job that he was doing because he told us that he would be coming later in the day because he had some job in the morning. So he came in the afternoon around uh, 4 o'clock and he looked really tired and wasn't really eager to do these things to the saw that he had to adjust. So I think he skipped on many things, but what do we know? And so he left, I signed the papers again that he came and checked on the machines. So after a few days when we were working with the machine, uh, all of a sudden the riving knife of the machine, of the blade, came loose, completely loose, and damaged the, the little cap that is protecting the saw. Evo, nakon dva, tri reza što smo napravili, znači cijeli taj komad se miče, gle, unutra snimi isto tu, vidiš tu, cijeli taj plate, gle. Ne treba da nas ubije. That was really scary when the riving knife came loose, because this catched in, and luckily I stopped the machine before something seri serious happened to other machine or even worse to me. When we opened the machine inside, we uh, try to, to take off the knife first, but the, the shaft of the, of, the, of, the, of the blade, of the saw blade, was so hot that we couldn't remove the, the blade easily. It was, you couldn't handle it in your hand. And then we touched also, of course, the, the pulley beh behind the motor that is connected to the motor, and it was exceedingly hot. You just couldn't keep the, the finger on it. You would, you would burn yourself immediately. Ovaj puli dole. Ga vidiš, staj, da. Pazi, da. Ujebote, on je dobro. Ti kažem da nije dobro. And that was not normal at all. I think that is not... I'm not expert in motors, in pulleys, in anything like that. But I think that was way too much. Uh, we tried to to figure out with the riving knife, we figured it out and we tightened the riving knife, which still today, after one month, stays in place. So, I don't know what service a TOTOS is, but it's a little bit suspicious. We noticed also those vibrations on the motor and the break of the motor stopped really violently when the saw was turned off every time. These cuts were made after the technician changed the belt and after his second visit. Notice the vibration, sounds of the saw and poor cut quality. I'd also like to mention that we bought this saw because it was made in Austria and mainly because of Marius Hornberger bought and made videos about this saw. I will leave the link into the description of his videos. We did all of this because we didn't want to wait for the technician to come again uh, because we had work to do, of course. Now, I called immediately after that happened, I called uh, Matei Atotos and I told him about the, the damage that was done and what happened. 
and he said he couldn't believe it. And that was it. I, I was calling him now and then, every few days I was calling him to see what is happening, what they will do about it. But it was until later in June that I really got like angry with them because nothing was happening. It was just talk, 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 talk and nothing was happening and we stayed with the saw that is not correct, uh, operating correctly. So I just said to him that I will start doing this video and everything because I, I cannot wait anymore. I cannot wait for them uh, to, to come and repair the machine. I have to, I have work to do. And okay, so I told him that and then the technician of course came in two days after that talk. Yes, it was one or two days. Ah, one day. One day after. Second day. The second day. The second day after the call, the technician came. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And so he came and he uh, figured out that the motor was not working. Okay. And that they need to replace the motor. Now, at the end of the day, when he tried to fix it and he changed the belt inside and what do I know the what he did? Was, uh, uh, the belt was burned because of the heating. Really? Uh, we said, okay, we, you know what, we want a new machine because we paid for the machine, the full price, the brand new machine, and we got a machine that is damaged, all of the vital parts, sliding table, the fences, and now the motor is damaged also, it's not working properly, so what do we got? The box, the cast iron table is nice, really nice milled, flat, everything is okay, we checked with the straight edge. But then again, the box of the, of the saw was damaged as well, so the paint is crushed. I mean, we don't care about that much, that, but you bought a new thing, you get a new thing, probably. <laughs> we just let him go, and now, uh, apparently, uh, they ordered a new motor, but when I called Matei Atotos again, I said, did you tell them at Felder that we wanted a new machine? And he said, no, we, we haven't. So... Yeah, I, I said nothing to that. I decided to make this video then. Uh, we hope that Felder sees this video and acts upon it because we are fed up with just talk, talk and talk from Totus. I don't think that this is okay and I think we've waited a long time to, uh, to finally use this machine because now we don't have a machine that is wo working properly and we didn't pay for that. We paid for the machine to work properly. Please share and like this video because it will probably help us to solve this uh, issue with Felder and uh, we will notify you about any changes that come and if they contact us we will notify you in the next video. Also uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and to my brother's channel because we will continue to operate together and we will join the two channels together in a way and you will see many more videos coming in the future and a better quality, I hope, when the saw gets uh, fixed or we get a new one as it should be. Uh, we will uh, do the review on the band saw, which is N4400, and the uh, uh, planer, that is the A341 uh, hammer machine, which is spectacular, but you will see that later. It also has its faults, but it will be a good one. And also the vacuum cleaner, we'll do the review on it also because it's not perfect, even though it's felder. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.